Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Expedition. And in today's episode, we are going to be saying goodbye to our base, our little starter house that we've been in for a little bit too long. It is now episode 10, and it is time to move on to bigger, better things. You guys, in episode 8, we, uh, we explored that Chocolate Quest castle, and you guys overwhelmingly said... We should move into the Chocolate Quest Castle. So that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to head that way. Uh, we're about right here. And it's pretty much due south of our location. So I'm going to head off that way. And I'll be back with you as soon as I'm at the castle. All right, guys. I am back. And there it is. Coming into view, our new home. Eh. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but we can fix that. We'll dress it up and make it look pretty. Don't worry about that. So, what I need to decide is how I want to set everything up. Now, I did grab pretty much everything from our little starter house. I grabbed all the equipment, all the machinery, put everything that was in chests, uh, where it belongs, all that kind of stuff. So, um... What we need to figure out is how we want to set up the castle, what rooms... Uh, what rooms we want to use for what, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I may end up kind of redoing some portions of this as well, um, just to kind of open up some space. Like, for example, this fountain. I might get rid of this fountain uh, so I can have room for some farms and stuff like that. Uh, or I might just move the farms underground. That might work too. Hmm... Decisions, decisions. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get settled here. It's probably going to take me a little while, so I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I have been doing some work in the castle. Let's check it out. So, I put in a wooden staircase here, and then, um, I pretty much took away a good chunk of the building. There was a room that extended out to probably about here or so. And then there was a fountain like right here. And the whole front, uh, this kind of front courtyard area was just really busy and kind of cramped. And it wasn't doing it for me. So I put in a pathway. I got rid of the building. We're going to uh, kind of rework this entrance way here. And I think it'll look a lot better once we're all done. And then I planted these bushes. These are the bushes that actually grow berries. I was out uh, gathering some with shears and stuff like that. So I think all in all, we're off to a pretty good start. And I think everything's going to look fantastic once we are finished. However, we have um, a little bit of a problem with the castle. And, um, well, we kind of have an unwanted guest. So... Here's what we're going to do. First and foremost, I want a way to get up and down between the levels easily. So let's just make two of the elevators from open blocks. And that's just wool surrounding an ender pearl. And then I'm going to take with me... Hmm. Maybe I don't have any. I thought I had a bunch of the spikes that you find in... Hmm, I'm not seeing them now. Well, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Okay, so if we come down these stairs, I've got, uh, I should probably give you a tour of what I've done in the castle here. So this room I've kind of converted into my storage room. Um, I also have a bed in here. I am eventually going to make an actual bedroom rather than just having a bed sitting here that I sleep in occasionally. Um, but if we come down these stairs... This is kind of where I've got all of my machines set up. Through this wall, let's just go to normal mode. Through this wall, I've got my little toast generator back here. And that all seems to be working as it should. So you got my power and all that kind of stuff. And then down here, this is where we kind of run into some issues. So I'm kind of thinking somewhere down here, there's a library. And I just got to remember... Okay, so like right here, there's a library. So let's put the entrance down there, maybe like right here. Does that look about right? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we'll put one elevator right there. And one elevator 
right there. And then all we need to do to go between the two is space and shift. Just like that. Now we do have a little bit of a problem. As I have already mentioned, there is an uninvited guest in our castle. One thing that we didn't clear out before we called the castle officially conquered. There needs to be a torch back here. And all I need to do is figure out where exactly that uninvited guest is. Uh-oh. I broke the... I, I broke it. Hopefully I didn't just break any elaborate redstone. Um, although it's also possible that maybe there just isn't red, going to be a lot of redstone in my castle. Hmm. Where is that stairwell? It's here somewhere. I just need to find it again. Maybe... Oh, actually, I think it's this door. Is it this door? Yeah, here we go. So some of you may remember, down at the bottom of these stairs... Hello! There's that giant spider. And uh, that giant spider pretty much uh, wants to kill us and should really not be allowed in the castle anymore. So, let's see. Uh, why? What am I doing? I'm moving like a derp. Um, now, we need a way to get rid of that spider. So, let's see. Let's look at what our options are. Maybe we can go and make some spikes. So we've got metal spikes, diamond spikes, and upright spikes. Upright spikes are two iron and some stone slabs. Diamond spikes are really expensive. Hmm. And then there's some spikes from Thomic Horizons. I think our best bet is probably these upright spikes from Artifacts. They're relatively inexpensive. And, uh, I think they'll do the job. I think they'll do the job. Basically, what we're gonna try and do is lure that nasty critter into a trap. Uh, let's make another batch. And then, hopefully, we'll be able to kill that spider without getting destroyed too badly. Um, there's some really nasty things. I'll take the golden apple, although that's actually a notch apple. That might be overkill. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what we have in here for weapons. Anything? Bane of Arthropods would actually be really helpful. Ooh, hello, Bane of Arthropods. That actually might work. Bane of Arthropods 3. That should do some, some damage to the spider, right? And I've got full armor. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Let's give this a try and see if our strategy will be successful or not. So, first thing I'm going to want to do is come down here and put down the spikes. Oh, oh, I made him mad. Oop, stay back. You stay over there, you... Wow, the hitbox on that thing is ridiculous. Really? Um, I don't know. Can it actually even get over here? Hmm. Maybe I'm actually safe. Nope, that, that's part of the floor. I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's take from here. Sure, that'll do. Okay. So, how much damage? Oh, that actually does decent damage. Yeah, actually, I might be able to take this spider just hitting it with this iron Bane of Arthropod sword. Maybe. This is going to be a lot of clicking, though. I just need to keep wailing on him with this Bane of Arthropod sword. This sword had full durability almost when we started. I think it actually did have full durability, and it's down to half right now. That tells you something about how much health this stupid spider has. And it is definitely regenerating health. I'll be... Oh! Oh! No! 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 Ah! Darn it. Okay. Um, grab the armor. Um, 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 helmet. There we go. Grab the sword. I need a, I need a weapon. I need a... 
I need a, a good weapon. The Crusader. That'll work. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, wait. I need food, too. Food is probably important. Just, just moderately. Um, let's grab the, um, the, no, no, no. Let's, let's, the hearty breakfast. We'll take the hearty breakfast with us. Okay. Let's go. Whew. That spider is no joke. So much health. And please don't be at full. Oh, there it is. Why? Why can I not hit you? Oh, no. No. Ah. Grr. This is why it's nice to have lots of sets of armor. Because sometimes things happen and you die a lot. Why do you not take damage when I hit you? It's like its hitbox has disappeared. Ow! It can definitely hit me, though. That's for sure. Oh! Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay, yep, time to go. Whew! Oh, man, that hurt. Okay, well, the good news is we got all of our stuff back. Oh, man. All right, guys, I'm going to see what I can do about this spider. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and it looks like I can hurt the spider by shooting it with a bow. Well, I have no idea how much damage this is doing. I'm hoping it's a lot. I mean, the spider's at least flashing. Shelob, Shelob, however it's pronounced. It's the same name as the spider from Lord of the Rings, actually. Oh, poisoned. Ow. It's all right. Oh, that was a terrible shot. I wonder if I can just shoot it to death from over here. And hopefully it didn't recover too much health while I was gone. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to shoot at the spider for a while, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, there we go. We got him, guys. And that got us two spider leather as a reward for killing it. Who? That was that was quite challenging. But more importantly, hello creeper. Goodbye creeper. More importantly, that unlocks for us essentially the basement, which means I can turn this into my mines. And all that kind of good stuff, which is really good because I did not have any. Uh, I didn't have any mines or anything like that in this castle. And I wanted to make sure that that was something that I could do. So, uh, let's go like this. And we can clear out all these nasty spider webs and cobwebs. We don't want them hanging around. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys. So... We killed the spider. We've made some progress as far as getting the base set up and stuff like that. I think, all in all, we are in pretty good shape. Um, I do want to do one more thing, though, before we draw this episode to a close. Um, other than clearing out all the nasty things from the basement, that is. Uh, what I would like to do is I'd like to get back outside and do a little bit of decorating on the exterior on that courtyard. Uh, here we go. So let's just head back up there. And let me get some stuff together. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So uh, we have a few options here. I could go ahead and put my, my uh, AgriCraft stuff out here. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I actually want to have my, my fields, my crop fields... Uh, inside. I'm thinking maybe we'll turn this area right here into a crop field. That could be kind of cool. Um, although, I think... Oh, actually, I bet I can vein mine that. No? No? Not so much, huh? 
Okay. Well, I was hoping. I was hoping I'd be able to. But I'll. Uh, I'm thinking I'll put the uh, the crops like in here at least to start with, and maybe we'll expand it. But as far as outside goes, I want the outside to look good as well. So. The first thing that I want to do is plant a couple of trees, maybe an orange autumn sapling and maybe just a regular autumn or a regular oak tree as well. I think those will work. I'll grab, I don't have that much bone meal, but that's okay. I'll make more. So, oh, and I need a couple of blocks just to make sure they don't end up super short because that wouldn't be fun. So let's see, maybe right about here, we'll do the big oak tree. That totally did not work. That totally did not work at all. Shame. Shame on you. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Ugh, terrible. There we go. So we'll plant an autumn sapling there, I guess, and then maybe an oak sapling, maybe about here. There we go. That's much better. That's much taller and prettier. So that'll give you just a couple of trees when you kind of come inside. And then I want to do something with this gateway as well. But I think I'm going to have to plan that out a little bit. So in the meantime, let's just go ahead and bone meal some of this. Because although it's not exactly the most creative form of decorating, it is better than nothing. And these flowers, it's just too much. We want flowers, but we don't want that many flowers. There's a point where, like, see this? Look how many, there's more flowers than grass. That's just too much. That's not doing it for me. So um, we'll change that up a little bit, but we'll do all sorts of fun stuff. And uh, I think for now, this is a pretty good start. I am going to definitely be doing more in these fields, though, as time goes on. But for now, I am out of time, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.